Look, right there. There he goes, right there. Look at number 31 going right there. Look at that boy run. Look at that boy run. Slot pass, slot pass. Gideon, hit Gideon, hit Gideon. Nice, Gideon. You see him? Both of my parents were born and raised in Nigeria, West Africa, and they both came to the United States about 35 years ago. Like most immigrants, my parents came to the United States in search of a better life. But I saw my parents do something that was very risky, very uncertain, but they came out on top, which gives me a fearless attitude. I feel like the world's mine. Sports came naturally to me. Um, I always worked hard at everything I did, but athletics definitely happened to be my wheelhouse. Started off with basketball, eventually moved on to wrestling, and I, I quickly noticed that I enjoy contact sports. So football, of course, was a, a natural transition. I was blessed to receive a Division I football scholarship to play at College of the Holy Cross. I did everything I wanted to do with the sport. I'm definitely glad that I played for as long as I played. When I was done with football, I had no idea what I wanted to do next. I came back to Chicago. I worked in sales for four and a half years. And even though that was providing money and paying the bills and, and setting me up for a nice financial future, it was not fulfilling me personally. When that alarm clock would go off, it would be like, not again. Body would ache. Your mind would be elsewhere. You can't wait till the day would be over. It was, it was misery. And when you're doing something you don't want to do, everything becomes so much harder. I knew that I wanted to do something different and I needed to find something that was gonna rekindle that fire in my heart. I decided to start training. It happened very informally. I was still working my sales job, but I had a good friend of mine who was looking to get herself right. And essentially I took her under my wing and I said, you know what, let's go at this together. She saw the results she wanted to see, and she said something to me that sticks with me to this very day. She said, hey, you should look into being a personal trainer. You're really good at this. It made me feel great that I could share something that was improving her life and the way she felt about herself. Long story short, I started a personal training business. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is where I'm supposed to be. I knew that I had that competitive itch still. I wanted to do something where I could still compete. That's when I found boxing. There were other trainers in my gym who would box on Fridays with their clients and they would kind of do some light sparring just to kind of work on the craft. So I decided to jump in on some of these sparring sessions and they noticed that I had some natural abilities. After my first boxing match, I was officially hooked. Won several matches after that and then competed in my first Chicago Golden Gloves boxing championship. Won that one fought in my second Chicago Golden Gloves boxing tournament, won that tournament, and then competed in the national tournament going up against some of the best in Las Vegas. So when I look back at it, I feel everything in my life, every sport that I played, my upbringing with my family, the competitions that I've entered, the ones that I've won, the ones that I've lost, have all molded me to be the person that I am today. Time is short, and you gotta take advantage of the now. So find what you love, find your passion. Don't worry about what the people are saying next to you. Worry about where you wanna be. Worry about your happiness. Worry about what's gonna bring you joy. There's so many things people say you should do, and so many logical paths. Sometimes you have to go with what you feel, and where you know in your heart is what you're supposed to do. And that means taking risks, that means getting uncomfortable. Don't rob yourself of the opportunity to change the world. Go for it. Go for it. Sky's the limit.